Hello everybody and welcome to Storytime with me, Miss Anna. So lovely to have you all here. Today's story is very special because I had to visit a place to find this storybook. I went to visit an art exhibition this week and it's not just any kind of art exhibition. Normally when you go to an art exhibition all the art pieces are in frames along the walls. But this was digital art. So that means all the art were projected onto the floor and up onto the walls of the building. So it really gave you a feeling of being inside the artwork and being part of it and moving around with it and I loved it. I also then went to the gift shop and I found this amazing story. Bob the artist and the author is Marion Deschar and I'll read you a little bit about Marion Deschar. Marion Deschar is an internationally acclaimed, award-winning illustrator and author of the Let's Make Some Great Art um, series of books published by Lawrence King. She lives in London with her husband and two sons. And this book, Bob the Artist, is her first ever picture book for children. And I hope you are going to enjoy it just as much as I do. She wrote it for Robert. Bob the Artist, written and illustrated by Marion Deschamps. What a beautiful day for a walk on my fine legs, said Bob. Bob sounds quite confident. He loves his legs. Eek! Look at those skinny legs, said Cat. Ooh! Look at that funny stick walk, said Owl. They're not giving him compliments, are they? It's like they're making fun of him. And look at his whole body changing. <laughs> oh, how puny your legs are, cried the other birds. Everybody's making fun of Bob's legs. This teasing made Bob very sad. Bob's skinny legs. Then Bob had an idea. Jim, I'll exercise my legs bigger. Look at all those different exercises, exercises he's doing to make his legs bigger so he can look like the others. But that did not work. Restaurant. I know. I'll eat my legs bigger. So Bob ate and ate and eight. But that did not work. Look at him. His legs are the same. But his tummy got bigger. All the sausages. He 
His next plan was simple. Fashion. I'll dress up to hide my legs. But he felt ridiculous. It didn't make him happy. Look how he's walking. He's not happy, is he? Trying to hide part of his body. Bob went for a long walk. Art gallery. He's looking at all the different pieces of art. Bob was inspired. Bob had a brilliant idea. He got his paints out and he started to colour his beak. On Monday, he painted like Matisse in beautiful, colourful patterns. Ooh, how exquisite, a genius, incredible, such daring, amazing colour, stupendous, brilliant, a work of art, said Al. On Tuesday, Bob painted his beak in bright splatters, like the painter Jackson Pollock. Wow, what an incredible beak! said Cat. And so now, every day, Bob paints his beak in a different way. Which one's your favourite? Bob loves showing off his wonderful beak designs. He doesn't worry about his skinny legs anymore. In fact, he is now rather proud of them. And sometimes, Bob even likes to leave his beak red. What an elegant walk, said Al. Great legs, said Cat. How minimal. The end. So, in the beginning, when Bob was teased about his skinny legs, he wanted to change himself to fit in with all the others, to look like them. And then, when he saw that he couldn't do that, and it doesn't make him happy in any case, he found some inspiration at the art gallery, and he decided, why should I look like all of them if I can stand out and look like myself? And that's where he started painting his beak. Why fit in when you were born to stand out? Be yourself. Love yourself for who you are. Have a lovely week and I'll see you next time. Shh.